Oh, there you are. Hello. I'm the Prince of Positivity, and welcome to my channel. Now, if you've been a longtime subscriber and a viewer, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. You'll have noticed that I have a plethora, I love that word, plethora, of items on my channel. I pride myself in providing wit, witticisms, and wisdom. So some of it's going to be lighthearted, fun. Um, I've got some things there about my life, my wife, uh, who's always been by my side, thank God for that. Um, kids, grandkids. Yeah, I know I'm, I look too young for that, but, you know, ground curves. Um, things of the day, news of the day, talking about different issues and so forth and so forth. Uh, I've talked about Ukraine. I've talked about uh, the economy. I talk about a lot of things because a lot of things make up uh, the lives that we lead. We're not just one-dimensional people. So um, someone asked me recently, why are you calling yourself the Prince of Positivity? Um, there has to be some reason. Well, I didn't choose that particular moniker lightly. I didn't. Uh, so for me, um, I'm not trying to proselytize, but I am a man of faith. So this particular video, I'm going to share some information about that particular walk that I'm on for that particular issue. And so I'm going to uh, do that by walking through one of my, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm getting all choked up there, but one of my favorite books of the Bible, which is Revelation. So yes, I'm a Christian person. I like to consider myself thus. And uh, one of my favorite books is uh, the book of Revelation. So I'm going to go through all of the chapters of it and basically read through it. And I hope that as I read through it, there'll be something that uh, triggers a response from you, um, comment, commentary. I'm open to, again, all points of view. I'm not here to proselytize. I'm not saying you have to follow anything of what I believe. I'm just sharing what I believe. And I hope you'll respond by either a yay, I'm, I'm also a believer, or no, I'm not. This is the reason why we can have a dialogue back and forth. Again, one of the things that we are going to do is be respectful for each other, right? we've already agreed, and if, if you're listening this long, and this is about three minutes in to this uh, particular video, then we've already made a determination that we're going to be respectful to each other, because there's plenty of evidence of people out there that are being, um, how shall we say, disrespectful to each other, right? So, I'm going to share with you uh, my favorite book of the Bible, the book of Revelation. And so let's go forth. The revelation from Jesus Christ, which God gave him to show his servants, what must soon take place. He made it known by sending his angel to his servant John, who testifies to everything he saw. That is, the word of God and the testimony of Jesus Christ. Blessed is the one who reads aloud the words of this prophecy, and blessed are those who hear it and take to heart what is written in it, because the time is near. John, to the seven churches in the province of Asia, grace and peace to you from him who is and who was and who is to come, and from the seven spirits before his throne, and from Jesus Christ, who is the faithful witness, the firstborn from the dead, and the ruler of the kings of the earth. To him who loves us and has freed us from our sins by his blood, and has made us to be a kingdom and priests to serve his God and Father, to him be glory and power forever and ever. Amen. Look, he is coming with the clouds, and every eye will see him, even those who pierced him, and all peoples on earth will mourn because of him. So shall it be. Amen. I am the Alpha and the Omega, says the Lord God, who is 
and who was and who is to come, the Almighty. I, John, your brother and companion in the suffering and kingdom and patient endurance that are ours in Jesus, was on the island of Patmos because of the word of God and the testimony of Jesus. On the Lord's day, I was in the spirit, and I heard behind me a loud voice like a trumpet, which said, Write on a scroll what you see and send it to the seven churches, to Ephesus, Smyrna, Pergamum, Thyatira, Sardis, Philadelphia, and Laodicea. I turned around to see the voice that was speaking to me, and when I turned, I saw seven golden lampstands. And among the lampstands was someone like a son of man, dressed in a robe reaching down to his feet, and with a golden sash around his chest. The hair on his head was white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were like a blazing fire. His feet were like bronze glowing in a furnace, and his voice was like the sound of rushing waters. In his right hand he held seven stars, and coming out of his mouth was a sharp, double-edged sword. His face was like the sun shining in all its brilliance. When I saw him, I fell at his feet as though dead. Then he placed his right hand on me and said, Do not be afraid. I am the first and the last. I am the living one. I was dead, and now I am alive forever and ever and I hold the keys of death and Hades. Write, therefore, what you have seen, what is now, and what will take place later, the mystery of the seven stars that you saw in my right hand and of the seven golden lampstands is this. The seven stars are the angels of the seven churches, and the seven lampstands are the seven churches. That was chapter one of the book of Revelation. As I mentioned to you, it is my favorite book of the Bible. Uh, I am a Christian person, and so I do believe in the life, the death, the resurrection of Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. I've accepted him as thus. I am not trying to proselytize, and I'm not trying to convince you to do the same. I believe you should. But that is an individual decision that each one of you ultimately will make for him or herself. But I am determined to share aspects of myself, who I am. Remember, this channel is basically wit witticisms and wisdom and uh, different elements of who I am. So you'll see parts of me uh, on the surface level and some of the deeper aspects of who I am. I don't mind sharing it. I have nothing to hide. I'm extremely authentic and so in this journey again that we're on to get to know each other and to enjoy our time together I just wanted you to see some of the different things uh, that go on in the mind of the Prince I hope you're having a great day wherever you are uh, I wish blessings upon each one of you in whatever endeavor you're in doing um, so subscribe, like, let's get in touch. Those of you that have been giving me thumbs up and been in touch back and forth, I really appreciate it. Uh, I've tried to make sure that I give you a thumbs up back or say something to you. Uh, and if I have been remiss, I'm going to make sure that as soon as I'm done with this video, I'm going to log in and make sure that I directly contact each and every one of you because I appreciate everybody who has taken the time to press a button, like, subscribe, and then send me a message. And again, I have no problem with you disagreeing with me. In fact, I'm looking forward to hear other points of view. If you think I'm wrong about something, great. Let's talk about it. If you think I'm right about something, great. Let's talk about it. Whatever it is, let's have a conversation. And if you think of a subject that I haven't discussed and haven't touched on, and you want to start a conversation about that, I'm open to it. I am a man of letters. I am a man who believes in education, 
and formal or otherwise, I am a, a believer in lifelong learning. And we're all on this journey in life together. All right? So that's it for now. I'm the Prince of Positivity, and I'm out.